So I exported the animation to Alembic file and then import that into Marvelous Designer. Now Marvelous Designer is uh, quite simple to use. You can go on the website to watch a few tutorials and you can start using it right away. And also check out the documentation for technical reference. They have a very good uh, documentation on the website. However, using Marvelous Designer is the easy part of making the clothing. You see, the program simulates the sewing of fabrics, uh, similar to in real life, so you need to learn tailoring in order to utilize its full potential. Unfortunately, I am not a professional tailor. Most of my tailoring knowledge came from experiments uh, in the past, so I am in no position to teach you any tailoring. Though I do look forward to sign up a tailoring class sometime in the future once I have more help with the, the commissions. Now Blender can simulate fabric sewing too, but it's slow and nowhere near the level of uh, Marvelous Designer. Right now Marvelous Designer is on the top of the market when it comes to cloth simulation. It can simulate the different types of fabric on the same clothing each with uh, different physical properties, while in Blender, everything must share the same physical properties. So obviously, you cannot make any complex clothing in Blender. So right now, I am just trying different styles for the clothing. Not sure what the final result will look like. Throughout this video, you can see me change my mind a lot, but one thing I know for sure at this point is that it must emphasize on the shoulders.
Once I am happy with the clothing, I switch to the animation UI to simulate a test animation with the low resolution cloth to see if there is any technical issues. Now everything looks fine. I switch back to the simulation UI to increase the resolution and then back to animation UI to simulate the final animation. Now Marvelous Designer can export the entire animation in uh, the form of uh, point cache or a limbic, but uh, the animation data cannot be used if I edit the mesh of the clothing in Blender, which is what I am going to do. In the future, I hope that uh, the Everything Node project will make Blender's workflow more procedural and be able to edit the mesh while keeping the animation data. So here, I only export the last frame of the animation and import that into Blender. After importation, I go to edit mode to add some creases to the edges of the fabric and then add a solidify and a subdivide modifiers to give the clothing some thickness and make it smoother. And that is the end of the clothing. It is time to finally fix the face, which is the subject for the next video. I'll see you next time.